So with this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I personally thought this was a very entertaining and very hype episode for JoJo. I mean, we see Josuke go up against Chili Pepper in this episode, and it was just an awesome fight. I mean, we also get to see, you know, the strategy that uh, Josuke ends up using within this fight as well, which was pretty awesome to see. Uh, we also get to see who exactly is controlling Chili Pepper in the first place, and also we get to see my favorite... Jojo, Joseph Joestar. I mean, dang, just seeing Joseph Joestar back for another season of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure was just really awesome to see. And also, we saw the touching moment between uh, uh, Joseph Joestar and also Josuke as well, because technically, uh, Joseph is Josuke's uh, real father. So, that was pretty awesome to see. We get to see how, uh, you know, they're eventually going to develop over time. It seems, you know, Josuke is, you know, with open arms to actually welcome his you know, father that he has never even heard about. So to see the development that will end up playing about in the next few episodes of JoJo between them is going to be pretty interesting to see. Now, regarding when it comes to what Joseph is actually going to be capable of in these coming episodes of JoJo, I don't really know what's going to go on. I really do not know because as we know, you know, he is no longer the main JoJo for this generation. And the guy is like 80 years old, 79 to be exact. So, I mean, he is not really going to be able to be capable of much <laughs> with his uh, stand because of the fact of his old age. He can probably barely control it, to be honest with you. And we see how delirious he is in this episode. So... I don't know, you know, while he is my favorite JoJo, I don't really think we're going to be able to see much from him in these coming episodes. I mean, for all we know, he could end up dying in the next few episodes, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is not a series that is not afraid of killing off its characters. So, you know, that is always a possibility, and, you know, even if that doesn't happen within the next few episodes, it is bound to happen by at least, you know, the end of the series, because, I mean, the guy is 80 years old. There is just no way that we're going to, you know, see him in the next generation of JoJo. And then, of course, at the end of this episode, we basically head into another cliffhanger, that leaves us off with the assumption that I guess there is going to be another antagonist that is going to antagonize the group of Okuyasu, uh, Josuke, Jotaro, and Koichi later on as the episodes progress. We're basically getting a new villain. So that is going to be quite interesting to see in the coming episodes of JoJo. So yeah, there really wasn't much to go off regarding this episode. As I stated before, really what we got in this episode was just the fight between Akira and uh, Josuke and also we got to see Joseph Joestar in this episode as well, which was awesome. And yeah, that basically about does it. So I really should have done a live reaction for this episode. Uh, you know, now I kind of want to do a live reaction for the next episode, but I'll leave that up to you guys. Let me know if there's a specific episode that you all wish for me to react to in the coming episodes of JoJo rather than me doing a review. And yeah, I'll try to do my best to actually make that happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course if you like this video don't forget to drop a like it always helps out the channel and if you want to stick up to date to my future content on this channel please hit that red subscribe button below and you will never miss a video from me that about does it for this video guys and i'll catch you all in the next one peace